Hey everybody, this is Dan at Colossal Vids and welcome to a brand new video. Now today I'm going to be playing through a brand new game. It's an early access game on Steam and it's a really cool little game called Lost Castle. Now, I've only played it very, very briefly just to get a bit of an idea as to what it's like and I have to say already I'm really, really liking it. I'm really, really impressed. So as I say, it's an early access game on Steam so therefore it's still in development but it's only been out um, about a week because it was released on the 4th of February. So... Of what I thought I would do, because some of you may have seen this, some of you may not have, some of you may have had a little look but not a chance to play it. I thought therefore I'd have a little go myself on the channel so you guys can see what the game is all about. So, without further ado, and with my trusted Xbox 360 controller, which is easier than a keyboard, um, let's have a little look at this game. So, you've got start, play local co-op, settings, and obviously exit game. I've also heard that at some point soon they're going to make it online as well, so you can play online, which would be even more awesome. So, let's start it up then. And let's see what Lost Castle is all about. Now, as I said, I've already played a little bit of it already. So we're just going to go down to New Record and we'll do a brand new one so you guys can see what it's like from the beginning. So, Lost Castle is an action RPG beat-em-up game. So it fuses quite a few elements together, which I think is a great idea. And from what I've seen so far, it does a really good job. So, with the demons' power, the kingdom... No, the whole world. The whole world will be mine. Ha ha. Fair enough. Love the music as well, guys. Really, really love it. Really sets the atmosphere as well. And the graphics are very, very, very cool. No! Impossible! My magic and theory must be flawless! No! Whoa. Well, that was just rude. Well, there we go. The Earl's evil magic opened the portal to the Devil Dawn. Demons and their underlings soon capture the castle. And also, treasures from the Devil Dawn were brought into the castle. Before the Imperial Knights noticed the invasion of demons... Greedy treasure hunters take actions. Oh, I like I like it. Very eerie. Nice music. It's cool. So yeah, as I say, guys, I played it very, very briefly. Um, so I've only had a little bit of a go. But I have to say, I really, really like it. So as you can see there, guys, B is basically on your controller. And E would be on the computer keyboard. So if I press B over here. Recently, there are more and more monsters around Castle Harwood. I think I'd better go home earlier. I like the three dots as well. It's almost like someone's, you know, in the middle of texting you and you can see they're typing. Someone else? A treasure hunter, huh? You had better not go to Castle Harwood. Well, my words surely won't be heard anyway. Yeah, as if I'm going to listen to him. Since when have you ever been told not to do something and you've actually listened? Anyway, let's progress further. So, basically guys, X or K, if you're on the keyboard, is attack. Y or J is your special action. So this is pretty cool, you can kind of transform to different places. And right trigger or L means you can use your skill. So basically, you can make it more powerful. So, when you see an enemy, you just keep shooting at it. Or keep throwing fire, in my case. And then basically, sometimes they drop items you can pick up using B or E if you're on the keyboard. And if you want to use the item, it's left trigger or it's I if you're on the keyboard. You can also scroll through different items if you've got more than one using left button and right button on the controller or U and O on the keyboard. So let's keep going. Now sometimes you come across chests, as you can see here. Press B or E to open them up. Then you can basically um, take what's in them. Um, the fruit helps you with your life, as does the chicken. Uh, so in your top left-hand corner, as you can see there, guys, there's your, your full health bar at the top. Where I've got 158 out of 158. Um, it tells you how much money you've got. Um, and basically, you can scroll through here, as you can see I'm doing now. See what you've got in your inventory. If, you, if your health starts to get quite low, you can obviously you know, use that to um, revive yourself. So let's keep going. Ugh. Ugh. Nice. 
I've been captured. Brilliant. A new slave. Human. Haha. <laughs> oh. That's not very good. Where am I? Okay, so let's keep going. So I'm now in prison. And again, you can basically smash open barrels, pick up items, you can smash open these as well. Well, there wasn't anything in there, but there we are. There's basically prisoners in these cells as well that ask you to um, free them. And you can actually free them as well by collecting those purple things in the top left-hand corner. I don't know what they're called. Um, that you have to, It says zero at the moment. Um, if you get a certain amount of them, you can actually get keys to unlock these, these people in here. Um, and you can also um, sacrifice your soul if you die to be able to play as another character as well. So anyway, aha, a new hero. You were captured by goblins and now you are in the prison of Goblin's Tower. Don't be afraid, hero. I'm here to help you. Although I'm not able to fight with the demons outside, I can open the gate. Do you want to open the gate and face the demons? Of course we do. So here we go. Now, depending on what character you play with as well, and depends on what route you take, because each character has a different route in the castle. So that's pretty cool as well. Whoops. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. They're just, you can't use a special skill all the time as well by using the right trigger. You have to save it up for a bit of time and then once you've used your main kind of, you know, press an X to do your main uh, attack, you save up a little bit and then you can use it afterwards. You can't use it all the time though. I have to say as well, this bat is really annoying as well. And you're trying to, you know, attack the other enemy and then the bat's flying around. Pretty cool that you can jump as well. I do prefer characters though that have um, you know long range weapons where you haven't got to stand so close to them to be able to attack them. Some characters you can't actually attack them until you're like right next to them. That can get a little bit annoying. Um, Especially if you've got quite a few of them coming at you. There you go. Defeated all the enemies. There's a chest there. So we've got more money. Potions as well. Which can help with, uh, again, health and restoring um, other things. So let's go up. So we're doing alright so far. Though I don't want to jinx it. Ah. Oh. I tell ya. I hate these bats. Oh no! Come on! Ah! Uh, oh! Oh, hang on, facing the wrong way. Hold well on, Dan. Okay, there we go. So I can honestly say that I absolutely, I'm just very impressed. I'm absolutely very impressed. I would highly recommend it if you're a fan of. Beat em up games, you know, RPG, you know, the fact they fuse them together I think is a great idea. Um, and uh, it's just a fun, quirky little game, really. <gasps> that takes a lot of your life down, so it's a good thing that I had quite a lot of life um, still in me. I better um, sort that out now, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my inventory. So I'm scrolling through now. Um, the apples, left trigger, help you with your health. Uh, the potion, I'm not too sure because that one's an unknown potion. So I guess we'll give it a go anyway. Oh, where is the toilet? Okay. I unlocked an achievement, though. The call of nature. Okay, well, that's uh, <laughs> that's different. Okay, I've currently got a um, serious problem with my stomach. Oh, no, I think he stopped. Or well, she stopped, should I say. Okay, avoid those. I didn't avoid the last one. 
So just be aware, because you've not got much life left, and that comes down, you're likely to die. I've got chicken, which I think I'm going to use now actually, there we go. So just make sure guys you do keep an eye on your health bar and if you've got food that you can use, do use it. Because if you forget about um, you know, your health bar, um, before you know it you'll be dead. So yeah, it's literally just all about you know collecting items, um, having good dodging skills, which I don't clearly have much of at the moment. Um, just basically being able to kind of hit enemies and then immediately getting out of the way before they hit you back. But um, yeah, really, really impressed with this. I would highly recommend it. If you've not tried Lost Castle um, and you fancy trying it or you know you want a bit of an idea as to what it's all about, hopefully this has helped out and uh, will make you therefore want to go and try it for yourself. Another chest. Unknown potion. Well, unless it's a different one, I kind of know what that does now. Cool. We're doing well. We're doing well. Oh. Oh, it keeps on shooting me. Oh, really? Come on. That many enemies. What was I supposed to do? And that one there that has a little sort of skull on his head. He's the worst because he runs quicker. He jumps literally into you. <sighs> okay, well, let's go again. So although it says I'm dead, basically you can now do what's called sacrificing your soul, which means you can actually um, sacrifice the soul of the character you've already been playing with, and you can actually, um, sort of, I suppose, be resurrected or just basically go into the game again as a different character. So there you go, now sacrifice your soul power and make some experiment. So uh, let's uh, see what happens. So I basically, uh, where it says cost five, I've got nine of them. So basically, if you've got enough, um, you can actually um, get keys to unlock themselves. You know when I was in the prison uh, a little way back and they asked to be freed? I can click on here, for example. And um, now I've got a key to the first cell. And then all I need to do then is just basically um, sacrifice um, my soul. I can play as someone else. And I've unlocked the cell as well. So now I'm playing as this dude. Uh, and I've got just a sword. Which is okay, but it means I can't shoot from long distance. I've got to get really close to him to be able to use it, sort of thing. Um, but hey ho. So let's keep going then. Ah, oh, well, I haven't said that. There is a. Ah, oh, I swapped it for a gun. Ah, oh, result. Thank you for releasing me from the cell. You know, I just bought that key. I am a blacksmith. Although I can't fight with demons, I can offer some weapons for you. Ah, oh, brilliant. You can take a weapon you like here. Sledgehammer. Oh, can I not take that? I guess not. Oh, I'd rather the gun than the uh, the uh, the sword. Well, that was worth... That was worth um, freeing him for then. So yeah, guys, if you get a chance and you get enough of them purple things, buy a key and... um. Yeah, free those guys because, yeah, as you can see, they give you weapons. I didn't realise that. Awesome. Okay, let's go. So now I'm a different character. I'm also doing a different route through the castle. He is just the worst. He is the worst. I think another reason why I really like this game is it's just my sort of game as well. It's right up my street. Uh, I'm a massive fan of beat em ups. <laughs> and I do enjoy some RPG games as well. You know, some of the classics like Zelda and those type of games as well. Um, and then fusing them with, you know, the beat em up style as well. I was always a fan of, like, you know, Street Fighter, Streets of Rage, Tekken, etc. when I was growing up. 
So, totally right up my street, really. So, just yeah, watch the X's when they appear. Don't be underneath when they fall. Oh. Oh, nice. Potion, fruit. Oh, I've also got armor as well. Look at that. Now I'm looking pretty cool. It kind of protects you a bit more as well. So when you get hit, and you don't take as much damage. I'll tell you what as well. It's so much easier playing this with an Xbox 360 controller as opposed to a keyboard. Without a shadow of a doubt. He is just the worst, honestly. But having said that, that wasn't too bad. Oh, no. And the thing is, you can't really run past the enemies and not shoot them all. Because if you don't kill them all... Oh, did you see that? Smack the bat right on the head. Brilliant. And if you don't kill all the enemies, um, the gate doesn't open at the end. Well, this was definitely worth freeing that guy from in the prison cell. Oh. Oh, come on. Another great thing is that the uh, weapons, guys, um, you don't have to collect ammo. They're just infinite. You can just keep using them and using them and using them and shooting and shooting. And they never run out. Oh. He's dead. Good. There's my chest. Excellent work. I'm going to take some fruit as well. Um, get some more health up. There we go. There's an unknown potion here. There's a blue one. What's this one do? Should we try it? Let's do it. Nice. Achievement as well. There you go. That's cool. In fact, there is another potion that I'm really intrigued to try as well. I should do this one as well. Tastes like rotten fish. Fart night rises. Got quite a few achievements actually through doing this. Awesome. Okay, this isn't good. <laughs> That's excellent. Oh, no way. I love it. I'm farting while I'm trying to shoot enemies. Brilliant. I love the um the clothing that I've got on now as well. Like the uh what do you call it? Like a, um, I don't know, a cloak or something. Oh. I was too busy talking, I messed it up. Okay, then we'll, we'll do one more um, run through of a different character then, guys. And then I'll, 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 I'll leave it there. And I've actually got enough also to um, unlock another cell. So there we go. Uh, we'll choose another one here. Let's go for this one here. One more, one more run through, guys, and then we'll... Uh, We'll leave it there. Uh, as I say, do check out Lost Castle. It's now available on Steam. It's only been out roughly about a week, give or take, depending on when this video goes up. And uh, it's an early access game, so it's been improved all the time. And obviously, you guys will probably already know that it all depends on all you guys' feedback as to what gets changed and what does get improved and implemented further on in the game's lifespan. So, let's have a little look. So, he was the one that I actually saved before. Four, I believe. Or maybe he was someone else. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, doesn't matter. But you can't talk to anyone in there now because they're freed. The only one that's still there is obviously the third one. So, as I say, guys, it is well worth if you get a chance buying those keys and freeing those guys in the, in the prison cells because, you know, as you saw before as well, they do give you better weapons and stuff, which is obviously very handy. Another great thing is now, is that I've actually got... Oh. Hang on. Oh, what? I did have a... Oh, I was going to say. I did have a bow and arrow. I could offer some weapons for you. I want the um, bow and arrow. There we go. That's better. Yeah, I didn't want that weapon. That was rubbish. Right. Let's do this. Oh. 
I always forget to move out the way when they shoot me. Which kind of isn't really a good idea. Oh, see, I did it again. These enemies don't have bows and arrows, so that's a bit easier. Awesome, what's that? A sapphire. Sweet. Oh, come on. Oh, what? Oh, he keeps moving. He keeps moving up and down. He needs to stay in my line of fire. Oh, come on. Come on, Dan, you can do this. You can totally do this. You've got this. You have got this, Dan. Keep moving. Oh, hey! He went. Oh, and I got hit. He went to hit me, and I got him just at the last minute, and then I got hit on the head by the chest. So, all good. More achievements unlocked. Love that. Just goes to show that I've not played this game too much because I'm getting achievements and stuff. So I wanted to kind of go into it with very little play knowledge, just so it's a bit more fun for me as well. So there's bits that I'm not expecting. All this fruit's really helping because I can take it now. Look. Apples. There you go. Full life back. Result. Sometimes you smash open, um, you know, items or kind of glass. I don't know what they're called. Glass objects or um, barrels and there's not actually anything in them. But it's worth a shot. You can smash these open, but they do take a while. So I tend to just smash open the ones that are just only the ones that are really necessary. Oh, come on. Slimes. It's pretty cool that every now and again I kind of throw out like three of them. There's our chest. Oh, nice. Got some bombs as well. Another potion. Uh, what's that? Is that a. Oh, wicked. Another bow. Ah, pretty similar to what I had, but. Oh, well. too busy shooting that it, it, there's like a bit of a delay sometimes on when you're trying to jump as well so yeah that wasn't good oh no move see did it again he doesn't jump straight away i love the fact that i couldn't shoot him but i didn't even move and neither did he and he still got me it's all good though no need to no need to panic i've got a little bit of fruit still so He is so annoying. The one that's running towards me now. But I got him. There's your chest. Again, I can use these fruits. Uh, should we try the potion? Why not? It is the best wine I've drunk. <laughs> Achievement. One more drink. <laughs> Brilliant. 
Wicked. I've got some more armor. Ah, yes. Looking good. If you press um, back as well on the controller guy, you can see like a summary of like, your health and um, how strong your attack is, your defense, your speed, uh, critical armor, uh, what weapon you've currently got, your shield, um, and your skill as well. Um, ooh. So that's pretty cool too. Let's go. So as soon as I lose this, guys, which hopefully I won't, <laughs> um, we'll leave it there. But hopefully it's given you guys a really... Um, oh, nice. Good idea of what this game's about. Oh, not another one. Come on. Oh, thing is, um, he doesn't stop walking even when he's getting hit. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. I did it. Excellent. Result. What's that? A snow staff. What's that like? Oh, no way. You know what? I'm actually going to take it. Yeah, I'm going to swap my bow for um, a snow staff. I'm going to go. You can go right or you can go down. Um, oh, hang on. Uh, let's go right because generally in games you tend to go to the right if it's like you know side scrolling and stuff. So, oh, maybe that wasn't such a good idea after all. This snow staff better be worth it. That thing is massive. Oh no. Apologies if I die. Let's go. The puppy. <sighs> right, let's do this. I mean, come on. I'm totally outsized as well. Oh, I, oh what? It doesn't even let you pass. Oh. Right, um, let's take some... Oh. oh, come on. You can't just land on me. This is totally, this is totally unfair. I'm totally out. I'm way outnumbered here. I mean, it's got his health bar down there, but there's no way I'm going to do this. It's just not happening. What about bomb? Oh, there goes another bomb for you. There's another bomb as well. Ah, another bomb and another one. Oh no, it's a dagger. Oh, oh, oh! Hang on, I'm still going. Ah, oh my god, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Oh, damn! What a shame. And he only had, like, just under half his life left, I think. Oh, well, there you go. It is what it is. Um, it's a hard game. But you want to you wanna challenge at the end of the day. So that's, uh, that's all that matters, I suppose. So there we go, guys. That's uh, Lost Castle. Currently now um, on Steam as an early access game. Really, really impressed. Um, I think, you know, if they're still developing it, it's going to get bigger and better. Um, and... You know, considering I'm already as impressed as I am with what's been out so far, I'm very excited as to what they're going to do going forwards and, um, you know, all the different updates they're going to be bringing out for it. So if you've not tried Lost Castle, guys, please do have a look at it um, because it's well worth it and you'll get a lot of satisfaction from it because I, I know I do. Um, so there you go, guys. That's Lost Castle. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll be back very soon with another gameplay vid of some sort um, of another game that's coming out um, for you guys to have a little look at before... Um, um, you maybe go and try it yourselves. Thanks very much, everybody, and I'll see you for another video very soon. Have a good one.